Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to read a story for you. The, the, the name of the story is Health is Wealth. I found this interesting story in my textbook. <laughs> the programmer shouts to make an important announcement. The headman of our village is ill. The person who cures him will get a reward. Why such an announcement? Of course, there is a reason for it. The headman of Fulpo is ill. It is not a not at all an ordinary illness. It is an illness the medicine for which is not even known to the best physician. Due to this illness, the headman has become not weak or thin, but fat and obese. Now, the headman is in such position that he needs the help of attendants to make him do his daily chores. He is made to sit by his attendants and lie down when he is assisted, assisted to do so. Standing and walking is just out of question. How did the headman reach this condition? This happened not because of any illness or disease but because of lack of exercise and by overeating. The poor headman keeps lying in his bed waiting for his attendants to help him sit then lie down. Announcements were done earlier too but nothing happened. Physicians came and went taking away fat fees. Now the announcements have been a regular feature in the village. A poor old na lady named Ramabai also hears the announcement. Ramabai, though old, is hardworking and indigent. She somehow understands the real cause of the headman's illness. An idea struck her, strikes her mind. She makes a plan to cure the headman. Ramabai tells no one of her plan. She packs a bag, ties her hair up in a bun and goes, goes straight to the headman's house. She looks like an experienced physician. After short, uh, saluting, she says, Honorable, honorable headman, I have come here after hearing about your illness. I am not an ordinary physician. You may call me the Empress of Doctors. The head, head man is impressed and allows her to start treating him. Ramabai goes before the head man and says, There is one condition. You have to do what I tell you to do. Otherwise, my medicine will not cure you. The head man is in a fix. But there is no other alternative but to accept Ramabai's condition. Ramabai then tells the headman that there is a simple routine he has to follow. It is as simple as plucking fine neem trees every morning from a particular tree. This tree stands about 500 steps away from the main gate of the headman's house. There is another point to be kept in mind. Only one neem, neem leaf to, is to be plucked at a time and is to be brought back to the main gate of the house and then chewed. In this way, five neem trees are to be, to be plucked and chewed daily for 30, 30 days without any break in between. This has to be performed by the headman himself and not by anyone else. To get cured, the headman starts following uh, Ram, Ramabai's advice. But the headman finds it difficult to follow the instructions in, in the starting. On the very first day, he walks, to, uh, walks down to the neem tree with great difficulty and the help of a dozen, dozen of servants. Pulls down a leaf. After coming back to the ho his house, he relaxes for a whole day. Then, next day, Ramabai comes to find find how the headman is 
doing. However, she encourages the headman to continue the treatment. The same incident is repeated the following day. As days pass, uh, surprisingly, the headman finds that he is able to walk up to the tree on his own. Then he will. He realizes that he is not so tired after returning from the tree. Tree. He now enjoys the walk to the tree and back from it. At times, he even looks forward to it. After fifteen days, the headman feels much better. He appears to be somewhat thinner and more energetic. What a surprise! At the end of thirty days, the headman can not only sit and stand up by stand up all by himself but also walk he is happy that ramabai has made him realize the importance of exercise and the disadvantages of overeating as promised the headman gives a bag full of gold coins to ramabai ramabai returns home as a rich and famous woman physician everyone in the village is happy for ramabai Moral of the story: Exercise and eating the right food keeps us healthy.